The berimbau is made up of the calabash, the verga, stick, which is wood, wire, this is wire, of the rock or drobrau, kashija, and the baqueta, drumstick. So this is the baqueta, kashija, rock, calabash, stick, and wire. This is what I call a complete berimbau. I started to play berimbau at 16 years of age and to play with capoeira. Since my beginning of capoeira, I already wanted to play this instrument. Since I was 16 years old, 16 to 43, there are many years. <laughs> I will play it with the rock, as it is the most common one, a flatter rock. Hold it and you can make the sound. The usual method is to play with a kind of rattle, the kashiji, which is another instrument. The birimbau is everything for capoeira. For me, it is a way to bring our energy in the capoeira circle, in the training. It helps us to interact with our students. The birimbau brings an energy, an unexplainable energy. I have played other instruments, but the energy the birimbau gives is unique. The berimbau is of African origin, and being an arch which produces sound, it relates to the first instruments. Perhaps a thousand years, some people put it to 1,500 years BC, and some people put even earlier dates. This is a type of instrument, the first instruments that are recognized here by the archaeologists. The berimbau is the soul of the capoeira. Without it, there isn't the capoeira because it came together with our African brothers to Brazil. Here in Brazil it was discovered, it was improved, and today it is the soul of the capoeira, and where there is capoeira, there is berimbau. There isn't capoeira without the berimbau. A capoeira sem um berimbau. <laughs>